Welcome everybody to Monday Night War. We got an action packed show of you this evening in our main event. It'll be Drew Macta taking on Bobby Roode. And that is sure to be a hell of a match. I can't wait to see how it all goes down. We have Randy Orton beating Sami Zayn in a one on one contest. We have Miss Money in the Bank, Selena Vega beating Dakota Kai. We have EC3 beating Tony Nese in a one on one contest with the help of Drake Maverick. I haven't seen them in action for quite some time and they're here and they are back on Monday Night War and this is sure to be a brilliant contest. We have Mustache Mountain against the Hardy Boys. Wow, this is something I've never thought we would ever see. Two different types of, you know, teams here. You've got Extremish and you've got British Strong Style in this match. Oh, this is going to be exciting to see this match. I'm excited. And here comes Mustache Mountain, Trent Seven, and Tyler Bate. And you know what? Tyler Bate's just gonna wave everyone hello down to the ring like he usually does. And you know what? I actually can't wait to see how these teams will connect. Will they have good in-wing chemistry? Who knows? But this is a match that I think is perfectly a dream match for some fans out there who are a fan of British Strong Style and obviously the Hardy Boys themselves. And you know what? Maybe this can sh they'll show why the War Raiders could be losing their tag team championships. I mean, we all saw what happened last week when they beat the Revival, and that was a fantastic contest between the two. So imagine these two tag teams. Imagine what they could pull off here tonight. Oh my God, it could be awesome. It could be spectacular. It'd be something that we would probably never see again. But with the Harley Boys having such a small amount of time left in their careers. You know, they're, they're getting older now, they're like in their 40s now, but these two are so young, so driven with passion for success, and I can't wait to see how this match will turn out, it's going to be fantastic. And here we go, this contest is underway, Jeff Hardy and Tyler Bate looking to start the match here. Jeff Hardy goes to work, already in the leg, watching leg sweep there from Jeff. Hardy. Oh, I still have a stop there. Oh, and a nice flying cross body there from Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy looking to get on the the, the attack here. Oh no, Tyler Bate trying to fight Jeff Hardy into the corner, but no, Jeff Hardy counters with a flurry of punches. And now it looks like Tyler Bate throws him against the ropes. He drops down. Leapfrog. Oh, and he throws him over his shoulder onto a back body drop. And now, what's Tyler Bate thinking of here? Looking to work on the arm of Jeff Hardy. Uh oh. Oh, and he stomps on the arm. And now, what's Tyler Bate thinking of here? Throws. Uh, Jeff Hardy throws Tyler Bate into the corner here. But no, Tyler Bate reverses. Jeff Hardy now reverses. Oh, what a net breaker that was. Into a, a reverse DDT. I'm sorry, not a net breaker, a reverse DDT. I'm so sorry. Oh, and a, a jaw jack there. Jesus Christ, Jeff Hardy is being ruthless right now. And now, 
Jeff Hyde's got him into a DDT once again. But Tyler Ray gets back to his feet with a drop kick to Jeff Hardy. Now he picks him up. Throws him into the corner. Oh, and a nice uppercut there. Too tight to Jeff Hardy from Tyler Bate. Now he tags in Trent Cernan. And now in comes Matt Hardy. Now these two are going to square off. Oh, do I go for chocolate there? But no, into a DDT there from Matt Hardy. And now what's Matt Hardy thinking of it? Trent Cernan moves up the way of Jeff Hardy. But no, what's the thing? He rolls through. Oh, and he plants his Matt Hardy's face into the mat and goes for the pin here. One. No, that wasn't going to get the job done. Matt Hardy's only been in this match for maybe a, a minute or two. So that was clearly was not going to put him away. But now, oh, and a nice slap there. And another slap from Trent Seven to Matt Hardy. Uh-oh, but Matt Hardy's got him on his shoulders. Oh, and he just drops him on, with a Samoan drop. Now he picks up Trent Seven. Oh, and a chop to Trent Seven. Now, does anyone you don't want to go chop to chop like with, with is Trent Seven because he could bring out some really nasty chops. Oh, and a nice kick into the gut there. On Trent Seven, he picks him up. Oh, and he plants him on his head with a brain buster. Now what Trent Seven thinking of here? Oh, and a kick to the spine there to Matt Hardy. And now Trent Seven on the middle rope here. He reverses. Oh, and a elbow. A reversed elbow from Trent Seven. He goes on a pin here. Is that it? One. No. Just a one cut, ladies and gentlemen. But Matt Hardy gets straight back to his feet. But here we go. Trent Seven doesn't realize he's back to his feet. Uh-oh. And he counters into a net breaker, ladies and gentlemen. Now he picks up Trent Seven once again. And he plants him with a side effect from Matt Hardy. Is that it, ladies and gentlemen? One. Two. No. Just a one count now for Trent Seven. But now Trent Seven gets back to his feet. He's like, nah, you can do it. I'll do it. And now these two have got, uh oh, he sets up for the twist of fate, the twist of fate, is that it? One, two, no, and Trent Seven kicks out. And now he rolls up the way of Matt Hardy, but they both tried to hit, hit something there, but it didn't come off. Uh oh, he caught him into a net breaker. Oh, goodness gracious, Trent Seven trying to get the upper hand here. But no, Matt Hardy looking to work on the arm of Trent Seven. And now Trent Seven fighting off Matt Hardy. As much as he can. Uh oh. And he caught him. Oh, and a nice German suplex. Applying for Matt Hardy on his head. But no, it was, wasn't that much to put away, Matt Hardy. They're looking to tell him Matt Hardy to get to his feet. What they're planning on here. I put some on his shoulders for a burning hammer. Is that it, Legerman? One, two, no. Just a two count. Now Matt Hardy gets back to his feet. He's literally not going to stop because he wants to win this match. This could put them. Maybe they want to be in the chance of. They could be the contenders. Maybe this could put them in contention for the. You know, the War Tag Team Championships. Who knows? Matt Hardy now puts Trent Seven on the ropes. But no, Trent Seven throws Matt Hardy to the outside. And now Trent Seven just soaking in the crowd ovation. Now he's telling Matt Hardy desperately to get to his feet. And now he does. Matt Hardy. Uh oh, but he gets thrown into the corner. But Jeff Hardy gets tagged in, and now Trent Seven tags in Tyler. They oh, I didn't get all that cross buddy. He got most of it, but no. Now Trent Seven reverses. I mean Tyler Bates. Sorry, I keep thinking Tyler Tyler Bates. Yeah, Tyler Bates. Sorry, I keep mixing those two up sometimes. Uh, and oh, and he just plants Jeff Hardy. One nice nice move there from Tyler Bates. Tyler Bate now just stomping on Jeff Hardy. And now, what's the thing But no, Jeff Hardy versus with a kick to the gut. Does go over flying for one. Oh, and a nice Frankensteiner there from Tyler Bate. A beautiful Frankensteiner, may I add. Now he throws Jeff Hardy into the corner. Go for a chop, but no, and a punch there from Jeff Hardy. Tries to go for a flying for once again, but no. Trent, I mean, sorry, Tyler Bate and Jeff Hardy just going at it. <laughs> I'm sorry I keep getting those two mixed up. Wait, what, Vince? Yes, I know the, the one of the greatest old packings all night. I shouldn't know, the, you know. Oh, you're, talk, you're talking about the high voice. I thought you were talking about the Mr. Duck Mountain. Oh, come on, Fizz. They're not that bad. 
They're British. How do you hate British people? I mean, I'm British. Oh. Okay. Okay. And um. All right. I'll get back to commentary. Um. Sorry about that, guys. That I mean, gentlemen, lads, boys. <laughs> sorry about my confusion. Even then, I think I've had one too many drinks. Um. Yeah. So that was the for man telling me off for mixing up the names. That's been great. Yes, Vince. I know. I'm sorry, Vince. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, right. I'll, I'll. Oh, come on, Vince. That's not fair. Fine. Okay. Okay. We're fine. Well, Vince, the man just told me I have to pay ten grand because I made a mistake in commentary. Brilliant. All right. Fine. Well, all right. Let me. Let's get back to the action, ladies and gentlemen. It looks like Jeff High looks to have the other hand here. Uh oh. The Tyler Bate has picked him up into a power bomb, and now what is Tyler Bate thinking of here? I'm looking to get his tag team partner back in. Tyler, Tyler Bate looking to bring in Trent Seven, but no, Jeff Hyde throws him over to the outside, and now it looks like Trent Seven's going to the top rope. Oh, and an oh, an elbow to the dome of Jeff Hardy. Now he's picking up Tyler Bate to get back to his feet. Now he's looking to pick up Jeff Hardy now. Throws him into the apron. I don't think he meant to do that. I think they're trying for him in the ring, but I think that was a mistake. Oh, now Jeff Hardy trying to fight with Trent Seven. It was a two-one situation, and now Tyler Bate throws Jeff Hardy back into the ring, looking to put away Jeff Hardy. Now what is Tyler Bate thinking up here? Oh, and a nice super kick there from Jeff Hardy. I mean, sorry, it's Tyler Bate. I'm so sorry. Uh, yeah. And now it looks like uh, Tyler Bate looks to throw, to bring in Matt Hardy now. And now Matt Hardy rolls out the outside, being taken out of the crazy. So now Jeff Hardy is in there all alone with Tyler Bate and Trent Seven. Look, he's got no one to make a tag to now. Uh oh. But what's Jeff Hardy thinking of here? He's taking him into the corner, it looks like. Uh oh. What's he thinking of here? Oh, and a snake eyes into the corner, and, Trent, and Taylor, Tyler Bate just goes down. Uh-oh. Oh, and a nice kick into the chest. Tyler Bate finding it hard to breathe right now. And now, Tyler Bate fighting off Jeff Hardy. Throws him over the top rope. What is... Now, he's Tyler Bate is saying, Jeff Hardy, I'm going to put you away. There's no way you can beat us. And now... He's grabbing Jeff Hardy and he takes him back into the ring and he plants him on his back. And now he's telling the fans to get behind him. What's he thinking of doing here now? Oh, try to grab Jeff Hardy, but it wasn't turning on for move there, but didn't go. And a nice crossbody there from Jeff Hardy. Looking to make the tag, but no. Oh, God, and now working on the hand of Tyler Bate, ladies and gentlemen. Try to get him in the gut. Uh oh. I think he tried to go for a twist of fate there, but didn't seem to connect. And now he's Tyler Bate picking up Jeff Hardy. Look at the height in these two. Throws him into the corner. But uh oh, Jeff Hardy looking to set something up here. Throws Tyler Bate into the other corner, looking to make the tag to Matt Hardy, I'm guessing. Oh, and a nice punch there. Oh, and a nice kick into the head from Tyler Bate into the head of Jeff Hardy. And now in comes Trent Seven, picking up Jeff Hardy on his shoulders. And what's Tyler Bate thinking there? Oh, a nice move there, burning hammer into a knee. Go for the pin. One, two, and no, Matt Hardy breaks it up. Oh, and a nice jumping net breaker there from Tyler Bate. A nice splash there from Trent Seven. Oh, now Tyler Bate going for an elbow into Matt Hardy. And another splash there from Trent Seven. And that went for a bottom punch. Uh oh, he picks him up. He's picking him up. And now he's now Trent's out going after Matt Hardy, but Matt Hardy having none of it. Tries to go for a leg sweep there, but they didn't seem to get him. Jeff Hardy moved out of the way. Uh oh. And a twist of faith from Jeff Hardy out of nowhere, ladies and gentlemen. Is that it? Here we go. One, two, no, and Pilot Break breaks it up. And now that's like 
Jeff Hyde looks to go to the top rope, looking to hit the swanton bomb. Can he hit it though? And he does, he hits it. He hits the swanton bomb. Is that it? One, two, no. Tyler Bate breaks it up. Up with a Frankenstein of Jeff Hardy. Now he's picking up Trent Seven, looking to keep his partner alive, keep him up and ready for the fight. But no, now he, Tyler Bate has gone after Matt Hardy here. And he throws him back in the ring and catch, caught him in there. And now Trent Seven is picking up Jeff Hardy. Oh, and he plants him with a German suplex right on Jeff Hardy's dome of his head. Oh, and a leg drop there for Trent Seven to Matt Hardy. And now it's just stomped on Jeff Hardy and make sure he doesn't move. Oh, and he goes for a nice uh, flipping move, whatever that was. I'm very impressed. And now Jeff Hardy trying to put Trent Seven in the corner, but that doesn't seem to work. Now, it looks like Trent Seven picks up Matt Hardy. What do you think he's doing to Matt Hardy? Uh-oh. And he throws Matt Hardy into Jeff. Uh-oh. What's he going to fit? He throws Matt back into the corner. And he takes out Jeff Hardy in the meantime. Now, Trent Seven looks to pick up Jeff Hardy here. Hits him. Uh-oh. He puts him on his shoulder for a burning hammer. Is that it, ladies and gentlemen? Is that it? One, two, no. No, that was not it. So close, such an entertaining contest, ladies and gentlemen. Goes to try to go for a drop kick there, but it doesn't seem to connect. Oh, right, oh, Jeff Hardy. Oh, and a nice German suplex of his own to Trent Seven. And now these two are gonna go at it. Uh oh. On a nice spinning leg drop there from Jeff Hardy. Now, what's Jeff Hardy having up here? Trying to tussle with him, trying to do whatever he can to try and get the upper hand here. Uh oh, but couldn't connect. And now Trent Seven and Jeff Hardy exchanging forearms and punches, but instead Trent Seven got the heat of that, you know, exchange. Now it looks like he's looking to set up for a more brutal punishment. Uh oh, but Jeff Hardy, oh, good. He looked at Trent Jeff Hardy trying to hit at the legs of Trent Seven, but no, Trent Seven just stomps on Jeff Hardy's chest. And now Jeff Hardy trying to fight back. Oh, and a nice crossbody from Jeff. Go for the pin here. One, two. Oh, a nice break there from Tyler Bate. Saving his partner, but also taking out Matt Hardy in the meantime. And now it looks like he puts him on his shoulders once again. And what's he bringing up here? Oh, and a nice move there from Trent Seven. And now, oh, and a leg drop there from Trent Seven to Matt Hardy. And now looking to take out Matt Hardy now. What's he bringing up here? Oh, he tried to go for a spinning close on there. Oh, but he does hit it, but not all of it. But uh, just just enough to take out Matt Hardy. And now he stomps on Jeff. Telling Jeff to get to his feet. Okay, what is Trent saying going up here? Oh, when he hits him with the German super, because that it? One, no, Jeff had his foot, his foot, foot, had his foot under the rope, sorry. And now it's, he hits him in the face. Puts him on his shoulders once again for another burning hammer. Is that it, ladies and gentlemen? One, two, and Tyler Bates stops Matt Hardy from getting into the ring, and that is it. Mustache Mountain have beaten the Hardy Boys. Two, success two successful victories in two weeks. Congratulations, Mustache Mountain. You just beat an established veteran tag team with one, God knows how many tag team titles and how much elusive titles they won in their history. I mean, Revival, don't get me wrong, they're a good tag team, but they're not as established and uh, amazingly good tag team like the Hardy Boys are. But they have beaten the Hardy Boys. That it should be huge for them. They should re realise how winners, great a success Tyler that is. And now these two are going to just shake it out and Mustang just, yeah, there we go. Mountain. Beautiful, beautiful. Well done, Master Man. Commiserations to the Hardy Boys for one entertaining contest. We have just seen from these two tag teams. We have the women's tag team champions, Billy Kay and Peyton Rice of the Iconics, beat Maria Kenneth and Liv Morgan. We have Eric Young beating Shinsuke Nakamura in a one-on-one -on -one contest. We have Braun Strowman beating a local competitor in a one-on-one -on -one contest. 
We have Alistair Black beating Dolph Ziggler in a one on one contest. And up next is our main event, so don't go anywhere. And here comes Drew Macko to come down to the ring. Bobby Wood is ready for him. And what? Wait, Drew says he's not going to wrestle tonight. Are you kidding me? But oh no. Oh dear. There's Pete Dunne. And he's saying you're getting in that ring. And you are wrestling tonight. Drew can't believe it. He feels like he shouldn't have had to wrestle since he's the champion. And here we go. This contest is underway, ladies and gentlemen. And now these two are going to go back and forward. Now Drew working and trying to fight off Bobby Roode as much as he can. Try to go for a headbutt, but no, Bobby Roode caught him. So I have to go for a clothesline there, but, but Drew McIntyre ducks. And then he picks him up and he just throws him over his shoulder. And body first, now with an elbow into the head of Robert Roode. Formerly of Bobby Roode, who still is Bobby Roode, but with just new nickname. And now Bobby Roode's got him on his shoulder. Oh, and a nice scoop over slam there from Robert Roode. Now Robert Roode's picking up Drew McIntyre. Oh, and he turns around into a clothesline. And now he's going to look to take out Drew McIntyre, the WWE Universal Champion. Maybe if he could beat Drew McIntyre tonight, maybe he might put him in contention for the Universal title. And now it looks like Drew McIntyre is not look happy to be in this match, but he's going to have to wrestle anyway. And now Robert Roode trying to fight off Drew McIntyre, scoop slam there from Drew McIntyre. And now he's going to stomp on the knee of Robert Wood. Oh, and a nice cheap kick there from Robert Wood into the head of Drew McIntyre. Now Robert Wood seems to have the advantage now in this match. Now once again, going for a stomp. Robert Wood picking up Drew McIntyre. Flings him over his head. And looks to go for a nice net breaker there. Jumping over his head and just bringing the neck back. I mean, sorry, forward. I'm sorry. And yeah, not great for Drew McIntyre, but now Drew McIntyre trying to try and fight off Robert Wood. And Robert Drew trying to take him out. Oh, and a nice clothesline there once again for Robert Wood and kicks him in the stomach. Robert Wood now seems to have the advantage. Oh, and a nice wicked clothesline there from Robert Wood. Now he takes him down to the ground. He puts him in submission. This is not Drew McIntyre's the strongest point, but he looks to be in deep trouble. And Drew McIntyre rolls out of it as quickly as possible. Oh, and a kick into the gut there from Robert Roode. And now a backbreaker from Robert Roode. Uh-oh. And he seems to get it ready. He's going to say he's glorious. And Robert Roode, you are definitely are glorious. Oh, and now Drew McIntyre fighting back. And a nice headbutt there from Drew McIntyre. Now he looks to set up. For the Claymore kick. Is this it for Drew McIntyre? Can he put away Robert Wood? He hits it. This is the end of the match right here. Is this it? One, two, no. Robert Wood kicks out. Drew McIntyre can't believe it. How the hell did Robert Wood kick out the Claymore kick? And now Drew looks pissed. Drew looks absolutely pissed off. Uh oh. What's Drew McIntyre's second four up here? Bring him over the up, and he just drops him on his back. And now it looks like Drew McIntyre looks to take it to Robert Roode. But no, Robert Roode now fights off Drew McIntyre on a nice spear there from Robert Roode. And now he picks him up. He picks him up on his shoulder. It looks, uh oh, it's gone by the head. He flips him over. Oh, and a nice backdrop there from Robert Roode. This is a very interesting contest we have so far. And now Robert Roode is trying to pick up Drew McIntyre. But he just can't. Drew Macta weighs just too much. He's a lot stronger to hit lift. But no, Drew Macta throws him onto his head. Just throws him onto his head. And now he picks him up. Oh, and he scoops him to the floor. And now what is Drew Macta setting up here? Goes for the other corner. Oh, and a nice massive knee into the face of Rob Rude. Now it looks like Drew Macta looks to take some payback. But no. Robert Wood caught him again. Caught, he caught Drew McIntyre. Uh oh, what's he setting up here? Oh goodness gracious. Oh my lord, just drops in on his ass. And now a nice flip over the shoulder there from Drew McIntyre. Throws him into the corner. And now Robert Wood puts him in the corner. And what's Robert Wood thinking of here? Oh, and his snake eyes in the corner. And now he flips him over his head. Now he's going to start working on the head of Drew McIntyre. 
Drew looks to be in drift trouble and a nice spine buster there from Robert Rude. What is Robert Rude thinking of here? Go for the pin. Is that it? One. No, just a one count. Just a one count, ladies and gentlemen. Robert can't believe it. And what has he got to do to put him away? And now it looks like he's looking to tell Drew Mack to get to his feet. Uh oh. Try to go for the glorious DDT. But Drew McIntyre picks him up on his shoulders and a power bomb. And now, looks like he's setting up for what Rude to get back to his feet. And what's he setting up here? Is he setting up for the future shock DDT? Yes, he does. He hits it. Is that it, Legerman? One, two, three. And that is it. This match is over. Drew McIntyre has picked up a inclusive victory against Bobby Rude after he didn't want to be in the match in the first place. And was just thinking of going to the back and just not even bother. But Drew Mac Pete Dunn threw him back in that wing and told him, You are wrestling this match. And you know what? It was a very interesting contest. Bobby Roode, we all thought maybe could have had the victory here. But no, look at this. Future Shock DDT. That was the end for Robert Roode. And now Drew Mac has just soaked it in with his just glorious face off. Pissed off. He looks so pissed. And wait, what? What's Drew McIntyre thing of doing here now? Oh, come on. Drew, leave it alone. The match is over. You don't need to do this. Oh, and he throws Robert Roode into the stairs. I guess he's looking to send a message to Pete Dunne to never get on his bad side. Uh-oh. Now what's Drew thing of here? Oh, my God. Oh, and he throws him into the apron. He throws Robert Roode into the apron. And now he throws him back into the ring. What are you thinking of doing here, Drew? Oh, and an elbow into the head of Robert Roode. Now he picks him up. What are you thinking of here? Oh, and a headbutt from Drew McIntyre. Now he's in the corner, looking set up for a Claymore kick again. This is a payback for him kicking out of it. Oh, goodness gracious. That was a massive Claymore kick. That's all the time we've got for, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all next week for another episode of Monday Night War. Wish we could turn back time To the good old days When the mom was saying us to sleep But now we're still stuck